One of the really exciting prospects about the iOS 11 screen recorder is that it can record either internal audio or audio with the microphone. However, with testing that has shown a couple of problems. So let's have a look at those problems and how you might be able to fix them. The first thing we're going to look at is the audio recording level. Now what I found is that if you start a screen recording from outside of an application and then go into the application after you've started the screen recording, the audio levels are much better because it records from the microphone and it doesn't pick up the internal game sounds. As an example, listen to this. This is a screen recording with the microphone audio where I'm already in the application and when I do that the sound effects will already have been loaded so I think it will be very loud and you won't be able to hear me especially when I start playing a game which is what I'm going to do now and I'm going to choose a PSC mechanic and what you'll probably find is that you can hear me at the moment but as soon as things get a little busy and hectic in the actual game we'll you're it. not going to be able to hear a thing the volume is the same for both this screen recording and the next screen recording where we'll be starting recording from outside the application first and then loading up the application so this is an iOS screen recording started from outside of an application with audio microphone turned on I'm gonna now launch Brawl Stars so the sound effects should kick in at this point so I'm now doing some stuff at the bottom here and I'm gonna start the game and you can listen to my commentary to see if you can still hear it once we go into the game. So I'm going to choose Ricochet. We're going to do a bounty game, go around shooting some people, and I'm going to start at the bottom of the screen here. So I'm going to walk up to the middle of the screen to try and collect the star, and I'm going to have people shooting at me while I shoot back at them. So here we go. There's always a bit of a panic to begin with. So just to make that clear, if you're a little confused at the moment, if you want to do a microphone audio recording, the best thing is to start the recording on your home screen and then move into whatever game or application you want to record. And hopefully that should record from just the microphone audio and not the internal game audio system sounds, which are much higher and will drown out your voice. Now onto the next problem. Listen to this. So this is an iOS screen recording started from outside of an application with audio microphone turned on. I'm going to So you can hear the microphone audio when you play the video from the photo gallery, but if you import it into a video editor, can you hear it? Nothing but silence. So we need to fix that and thanks to cool guy on my Clash Royale clan, here's how you can do it. This solution starts with an application called my MP3 and this will extract the audio from the video so that you can then use it in a video editor. So let's show you how. Open up the application, tap on the magnifying glass in the top right hand corner, choose video from gallery and then find the video with the audio that you want to use. Press choose in the bottom right hand corner and this will extract the audio from the video. I'm not going to lie, this is a lengthy progress for a three minute video. It took about a minute to get the audio. Once extracted, tap on the plus button and then open with. You've got two options here. You can save it to your music application and then import it into another video editor. But with iMovie, you can copy it directly to the iMovie application. And that's what we're going to do right now. When I press the copy to iMovie button, this will open up iMovie and dump the audio into a brand new project. So now we need to bring in the silent video. Press the plus button to the left of the screen, then find the video which matches the audio. And obviously, because the audio will be exactly the same length as the video, you don't need to resync anything. So you should have a video timeline and an audio timeline, which sounds like this. So this is an iOS screen recording started from outside of an application with audio microphone turned on. I'm going to now launch Brawl Stars, so the sound effects should kick in at this point. So I'm now doing some stuff at the bottom here, and I'm going to start the game, and you can listen to my commentary to see if you... And there you are, the microphone audio is now working perfectly within a video editor. Now, usually I might put such a tutorial in the VGJ school. However, this is iOS 11 beta, so Apple may fix a problem themselves. In the meantime, thank you very much to Cool Guy for this awesome suggestion on getting audio recordings into video editors. If you want more iOS screen recording content like this, then subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.
And if anyone is wondering what one of these is, it's a dotty. I'm not sure if you can buy them anymore, but it's quite funky, isn't it? 